All right, it's time for a meeting. Okay, what's up? I think we need to pull the plug on thing of the day. What? Why? I thought it was going great. It is. When we do them. It's just, we don't have time to do them every day. On top of that, it's, it's creatively worthless. We're just taking something that was popular without us and shining a light on it, saying, hey, look at that thing. But we were getting good, consistent views. We're making more on ads this year than we have in the last three. We made $25 and half of that was a video we made in 2010. But you're right. Thing of the Day has been getting pretty consistent views and that's great. But it's a very BuzzFeed kind of show. But we love BuzzFeed. Yeah, but I don't think us being BuzzFeed is serving our audience as well as we could be. I mean, they can just as easily check Dig or Vox a couple of times a day and see the same cool stuff we do. I think what we need to do is just let BuzzFeed be BuzzFeed and try something new. Well, I'm just a rhetorical device for the sake of this video slash a representation of your entertainer persona, so I hope you have some ideas. Actually, I've been looking at some of the numbers for this year. And? And I've noticed that our most popular videos are our My Little Pony related stuff, uh, our instructional and informational videos, you know, like our how-tos and panels, and stuff that just shows something cool that we did, you know, like the, uh, the boombox we've got on our bike. So what, we're back to making pony videos again? No, I'm not saying we should pander. I just think we should do some videos that exercise our creativity and our passions. That's the common thread among the most popular videos. You know, we can do fun stuff and smart stuff too. We can do lecture style videos like Victor shows or do some singing videos too. We'd be sacrificing a bit of channel consistency, but at least we will be more than a minute and a half long link to something else. What about production schedule? What about release timing? The production formula for Thing of the Day was so well streamlined and optimized that shooting took longer than editing and rendering. But if we want to go back to making videos that are of some real substance, we're going to have to add more time on both ends. We may be looking at a release schedule that's more along the lines of CGP Grey than number file. Oof. Yeah. Well, what about our audience? They like Thing of the Day. Yeah, they do. So, I don't know, maybe we'll keep Thing of the Day going as, I don't know, a Tumblr blog or a Facebook page or something. But I, I really think they'd like original content just as much, if not more. What kind of original content? Well, we have been kicking around that idea of dropping me in Los Angeles with a camcorder and seeing if I can find my way home. Yeah. Oh, and hey, why not take My Little Pony's Sound is Magic and turn it into like a, uh, like a YouTube lecture series. You know, go all extra credits on it. Get into the nitty gritty of sound design and the history and all that stuff. Yeah, I mean, this is the last year we're doing that lecture around Los Angeles anyway, so maybe it's time to make a definitive version. Okay, so we have some plans then. Oh no, yeah, there is stuff in the hopper that can be done. That's not even a question. I do feel kind of bad though. Why? What is it? Well, Thing of the Day is at 45 episodes. I mean, it's kind of a downer to be so close to 50 and not actually hit it. Yeah, it would be a bit of a milestone. Yeah. Okay, uh, so why don't we do it for one last week? Yeah! Wow, it's like you're reading my mind. Okay, so... meeting over? Yeah. Meeting's over.